baby! You like that, don't you? I do. Yeah. I'm trying to find stuff that, that our guests would have played, you know, when they were on the You're radio. You're all right. Our former guests? Yeah, I mean, like, Shock and Tom played this a million times. You better believe it, baby. Right. But when we have Jim McGinnis on the air, and JM, we're going to have you on the air, we, I don't think he played this. No, not at all. Might have had to once. He played the Rare Earth version. That's exactly right. Yeah. Weren't no. you in Rare Earth? <laughs> no, actually, I'm sorry, that was Fred Saxon. <laughs> Honestly, our Fred Saxon, was our movie Craig, was in Rare Earth. Really? Yeah, yeah. I thought I hit you guys mixed up. I'm sorry. That's yeah. so funny. Huh? Uh, God rest his soul. Yeah, Good guy. Yeah, so, uh, McGinnis has a thing called Vinyl Resting Place. Yes, he does. Just which, which I guarantee this would be on. Oh, yeah. oh, that's, By the way, can that's I just say thank you to you two? Last us night, too or you guys, YouTube? Last Did you night, say YouTube or us no. too? YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Last night we had our live stream event at bellyuplive.com uh, in support of the San Diego Food Bank. Yeah. Jim Floros. Uh, Jim Floros uh, mm -hmm. was fantastic for you know promoting it so much. And of course, there? KUSI yeah. promoted it. Um, we had I was belly nervous. up. I was nervous up there as an MC. You were and shaking co, like Don Knotts. A co MC with Russ. Yeah, but you, I think I think you would agree my jokes were funnier. Right. Well, that's, that's always the case because <laughs> here's the crowd when Tommy when Tommy uh, when uh -huh. Tommy is laughing it's like, <laughs> and uh -huh. then there's Russ. Tommy. Funny. Some people need some people Russ. need my jokes explained to them. You know, uh, and I will be hashtagged right out of a uh, well any any way of making a living. Today, my act would like Don Rickles. You couldn't do your I act. Couldn't today. do my yeah, act. Yeah, you couldn't do your act today. And I I didn't. Would you have you written anything? I mean, I know <laughs> you do more music than you do stand up these days. Yeah, yeah. That. Well, have you would you have you written anything new for the oh god for the COVID? I have a thirty minute COVID comedy uh, set ready to go. Hey, they take your temperature at Home Depot, you know. Oh, but I can't even finish the punchline. It will be for, it will be for night clubs. Because, because well, no, okay. I don't want to do it. But uh, I think we should do that on this new set here, too, by the well, way. Well, speaking of the new set, yeah. um, well, first of all, thank, and thanks again for all your support. You donated a bunch of food to the food bank. We had a lot of people watching the live stream event, yes. and you guys were really generous with your time. Considering it seems like such a great time. Well, I brought, we're going to go to the belly up. Yeah. We're going to play. The, there's going to be six people taking pictures of us. And that's yeah. literally what but it looks like. But the streaming part of it's good too. And I actually okay. helped the food bank. I brought half of my tuna sandwich from lunch, no. and they and took you only it. had one finger full <laughs> of that's, peanut butter before you. They, they need that. No, exactly. They do um, get that kind of donation though. So I want to bring something up okay. because next week, one of our favorite artists is going to be playing live. Yes, Hyrie. Who? Trish, yes. Trish. You know her as Trish. We know you her as Hyrie. And she, she did the first live stream concert at BellyUpLive.com this year because, look, at 24% of our economy yeah. is hospitality. Those waiters, waitresses, bartenders, uh, sound people, door people, load-in people are all out of work. The support and, people. And Chris Goldsmith, to his credit, at BellyUpLive.com, belly had Hyrie come in and do yeah. a show, and it was a huge success. I'm a huge fan of Hyrie or Trish or whatever. I, well, and the reason I bring that up is because she's going to be in the brand new studio here. Yeah, yeah. We have just now finally lit the studio. Yes. And we have a stunt Hyrie today who well, happens to be what? Russ's son, Tyler. Yeah. And uh, just to see how music. So just pan the camera over, and you can see what we got over there. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Hyrie. That's it. <laughs> Play, Tyler. You look good there. There you uh -huh. go. Yeah. See? And so the reason we did this today. That's a great version of Madonna. It is. <laughs> Love it. It is. Tyler, so Tyler Stalnack, by the way, played for when, on Big Biz Show. Mm -hmm. He did all of our little inside baseball for radio uh, audience is, is that when you go into a commercial break, it's a bump. Mm -hmm. When you come out of a commercial break, it's a rejoiner. Oh. He would play our bumps and our rejoins yeah. on Big Biz Show when live. we first got on TV live. Wow. So we thought we'd bring him in as a stunt player. Yeah, uh, so because we have Hyrie coming in. Yes. So he, so Tyler, you want to you want to play a little something for us? Make sure quick? everything's working, yeah. right? Yeah. I think that's called B O C, the cowbell song. And you're. How about Here three? We go. Go. Yeah. More, <laughs> <laughs> more cowbell. All right. So so yeah. now we can have Hyrie come in. That's cool. I and I remember, you know, speaking of boys for Colton San Diego, I remember going to the sports arena and seeing them in the late seventies at the sports arena and when they all came on stage at the front of the stage with guitars. Yeah. That's the first time I ever saw an entire band except yeah. the drummer with guitars and yeah. bass right there. They were there. all perfectly lined up yeah. and spaced out. Is the and they were spaced out. Speaking of spaced out, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Russ. Wow. <laughs> um, last I concert you saw was what? 
I, re I remember memory wise uh, Billy Idol at the sports arena and between songs during the, the, the you know the big jam session he'd go behind stage and he'd pick up a set of dumbbells and start pumping iron really yeah and then he'd go back and go back out well the he had that Elvis lip thing going through I love Billy Idol so Whatever happened what was the last live concert you saw other than one of mine honestly well I opened for Kenny G at Humphreys so. oh that's right you did no he did I did was it a <laughs> <laughs> you snicker? I, no. But it was it was a guitar open or was it a comedy? It was a, com open? It was a little guitar in there. Right. It breaks wow. up the monotony. When's the last concert you saw? You know, probably Paul McCartney at the stadium or Petco Park. What? Oh you know? yeah. yeah. How about you? You? Did you get a mirror and just look at your band? The look last alive. concert I went. <laughs> the last concert I went to. Uh oh oh. Man, I had tickets to everything this year. Yeah. I had Rolling Stones tickets this year. I had Boss Gags yeah. tickets this year. I had Alan Stone tickets this year. Yeah. I had Hall and Oates tickets this year. I had. Uh, uh, well, I like to see Lenny Kravitz. I mean, I had Motley tickets. Crew. They were supposed to be the DSC 30th anniversary. Yeah. Uh oh. And a uh, and it. I think, the, I think the last honestly concert I went to. Yeah. Was uh, Eagles, Doobie Brothers, and Zach Brown down at Petco? Oh yeah, was there. a couple years ago. I don't even think there. I've been to a concert like a concert yeah. concert since then. I like to travel and see live music. I oh, went to I, Alabama I saw, to see Boston. Thank you, Chicago everybody. To see, all right. <laughs> I saw. I That's did see John Mayer this year. This year I saw John Mayer at uh, San Diego State. Well, I'm excited about today's show. I am too. I'm excited about today's well, show. Well, today's show is very interesting because I there was a couple things I didn't, I didn't realize the Emily Griffiths. <laughs> yes that is on this show was the same Emily that was on Jeff and Jeter. Yeah, and she's like, she's just like my little sister. And I understand you had a person named Laura on the show. Don't yeah. remember that. Laura, remember Laura? Yeah, Laura you know, Kane. Jeff and Jared, so Tommy, Emily, and... Uh, yeah. Emily Griffiths, who is on the show at Rock 105.3 yes. now. The number one started, morning show. In the she started at Dippin' Dots and into Jeff and Jared. What? And I'm proud of her. She is my little sister. And another little sister of mine is Laura Kane. And Laura Kane, I remember. Laura Kane's you know, iconic in this town for San Diego radio. She started at B100 with Jeff and Jerry, and I remember the day we said, hey, can you go on the air with us? And she did. And what was she doing? Just walking through the hall? She was working at the, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll let her Dippin tell dots. the stories. Well, wait, but let's, let's talk about, okay, people that landed in it and didn't smear it in the carpet. Like, <laughs> I, like I stepped in and smeared it in the carpet uh -huh. many times in my career. Rusty nails, okay. I mean, you're, you're, I've known you for a long time. You're not that great of a guy. No. You have a great life. <laughs> I know. Emily Griffiths not only does a number one show with Jeff and Jer, yeah. is now on a number, number one, one show, show with Rock 105. I see a train. No, she's a wonderful person. Yeah. I, I know who she is. But I'm just saying, how does that happen to some people that, like, everything they and do touches, turns to gold? We yeah. got we got let go from Kixie. You guys got booted from Kixie. We, we got blown out of Kixie three years I, ago. Who hasn't but, been, I was fired, the only time I was fired on radio was from that building, Kixie. by the way. Oh, yeah. But, um, I, was on, I was on 94, something on the planet. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, Emily was the first to get hired. She's really? like the Paul McCartney of the Beatles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she well, didn't you have, you, but you also had Randy. Oh, yeah, Randy. Randy. I mean, I love Randy. So you had Jeff, Jer, little Tommy, Laura. Emily and Randy. Emily and Randy. For most of the And ride. Delana was there for a yeah, while, too. Everyone was there. Wow. Well, me and Russ were invited. I, I had a hot plate in Tijuana and a couple albums from Depeche Mode. <laughs> that's all they gave me down that's, there. And that's all you needed for <laughs> that's radio. That's all there. I got. Oh, yeah. As, as a matter of fact, I can't wait for... I, let's go with Emily first. All right. And, uh, Is she close? Emily? Yeah. Let's Emily? Uh, want me to bring her in? Tyler, play her in, buddy. Yo, I've Emily! Some, uh, I've got a little... Um, <laughs> Emily, oh, the rock and roll. I better get out of your way. We are socially distancing. There's your stool. I'll be over here. Wow, look at Emily. You don't belong on the radio. You belong on TV. <laughs> uh, all right, I got a question. Wait, I want to introduce her officially. All right, go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here we go. Originally from Dippin' Dots, then on to Jeff and Bear at iHeartRadio. Um, and now she's on the number one show with The Show on Rock 105.3. But mm -hmm. the best thing of all yeah. is she's the best mom. She's oh. the best mom to read. Ladies and gentlemen, Emily Griffiths. Wow, Tommy. Huh? That's so nice of you to Look at him. Me that this way. is a love fest really going on nice. on that side of the counter. No, actually, I'm, yeah. I'm so proud of her and I love her. And look, you're a guest on a on a television uh, show because of because you're doing so great in life. Thank you for saying that. So was, was Tommy at the Dippin' Dots? Was he like this? Was he a customer? <laughs> he always was like a regular? this Dippin' Dots up. Do you have I, a uniform still? Because uh, those are so nice. No, I think it was like a polo. No, you're thinking, of, had, you're thinking a hot dog on a stick. That's the one I want. Yeah, that was you. the wrong one. Thank Thanks. you. We had classy. Uh, yeah, right. They had polo, polo shirts. shirts. Light blue ones, I'm pretty uh, sure. Yeah. 
Um, no, but it was Dippin' Dots, but then there was a lot of steps before I finally got to Jeff sure. and Jerry, you know? Yeah. But, sure. how, but wait a second. Was there, did you, were you really at Dippin' Dots when you were discovered by little Thomas? No. No, no, no. She was at <laughs> Dippin' Dots. Oh, I love the fact Thomas says, oh, yeah. She goes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, hold on. Be close. She was at Dippin' Dots, okay. and then she got a job in radio as a receptionist. Is that accurate? Well, I was going to art school, and then I decided I wasn't really wanting to be a graphic designer. Okay. I just wanted to be an artist. Okay. So then I decided to get a random job. Mm -hmm. And this is when I was going to, when I was working at Dippin' Dots, I was going to art school at the same time. Okay. So then I decided that I was not gonna go to school anymore and that I wanted to get a real job, an office job. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. So then I applied at Clear Channel. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was the assistant to the assistant <laughs> to like Mike Lickenhouse. Wow. Remember from like, that was yeah. a courier. Yeah. yeah. And oh. then I became the receptionist. That's like Russ's assistant awesome. to the manager. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we had <laughs> not assistant manager. No, assistant, to, assistant, assistant to the assistant. To the assistant. Yeah. 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 All right. And then do you right. recall the first time someone said, hey, will you go on the air? Well, that was you, Tommy. Yeah. Oh I my! Here geez. we go. Walk right Heed in. that yeah. one right up. There you go. Hold on. Yeah. How, How did that, that happen? <laughs> yeah, that's How did that happen? Oh. So I'm sitting at the receptionist desk, and then I get a phone call from Tommy's studio because Jeff and Jared just arrived. I think that your show, had, or the mm -hmm. Jeff and Jared show, had been there for only like a couple months. Okay. And you said, "Hey, patch me up to the receptionist." Mm -hmm. And I said, "Well, what for?" And he said, "We want to hire an assistant." I said, "Well." Why don't you hire me? I'm not going to put you up wow. there yet. Let me come back and be your reception or be your wow. assistant. And that and was then, it. That and was then you I went back. You stepped up and asked for the job. Yeah. That's so you awesome. kind of held the connection hostage uh, until you had yeah, the job. Right. Right? It was not, not a fair hiring. No, no. no you have to put me on. Or I'm not putting you through. I remember. <laughs> I remember when Jeff and Jer came into the building. Because right. I went, because I, uh, which meant that you were receptionist when I was at Kogo still. Yeah. Well, I've been, I've been, I've been so this is 2009. I've been at Kogo since you were three, Th though. Thanks for remembering me, yeah. by the way. This is Well, I never, they would never let me out in front <laughs> no, of this anybody. this is 2005. Yeah. This is 2005. Yeah. I don't know. I remember. Yeah. 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 I remember when you guys got there. Yeah. We weren't allowed to use those two little bathrooms out in the Yeah, front right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Told, those are our bathrooms. No. <laughs> but I do know they did keep us on one end and then the DSC on the other side. The way it should be. Yeah. yeah. In a, it used to be part of the school. town, now it's just part of the building. But I remember, I've said this before, when we first got over there, because yeah. we were all from, before Clear Channel, it was J-Core, yeah. and we were all in different buildings. So yeah. KSDO was one place, KGB was another place, um, you know, I forget the other stuff. Yeah, there's a couple of them down the hall. So I have a question well, for Well, wait a second, when we got there, though, the place looks like a hospital, and it still looks right. like a hospital. Yeah. We never see each other. No. I mean, okay. you see people yelling at each other right before the show, and then it gets really quiet. Mm -hmm. there so, their own so, so what's it like today, you are on the number one show with Eddie and Thor and Sky and you. You guys are, are killing it. How does that make you feel? Because, because you come from another show that was pretty darn good mm -hmm. into a show that's, uh, that's good today. How does that make you feel? Well, obviously it makes me feel good, yeah. but I still don't really grasp it. I don't think that I'm on a big show. Okay, wait a second. Look at this picture right here. I was just <laughs> going to say, what about that thing you guys did in Ramona <laughs> when there was 3,000 people there? Did you yeah, expect you, that? Um, I, I only expected it because we have such amazing listeners. You call them what? But, uh, P1s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, once I got out there, obviously no. I was blown away. But I quickly forget sometimes when I'm not put in that situation. No that I'm on the radio, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, it's not like a live crowd because on the radio, it's just like yeah. the four of us sitting here, we don't even know anyone's watching now. Yeah. We're just sitting here, hey, how you doing, how you doing? And all yeah. of a sudden people go, I saw you on. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. exactly. Or I heard you on, yeah. How did you make the jump from, how did you, I mean, did you, can, when you were From dipping dots to radio, no, no, how did you do no, that? When, 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 <laughs> when, you were when you were the receptionist and you were assistant, did you do both for a while? No. Wow. I don't think, no, I think that, I just automatically went and did Jeff. Mm -hmm. So, so what did your supervisor say of the, of the receptionist? Was she like I don't care. snooty? <laughs> was she super snooty? Like, no, I don't think so. Right. I think that they were supportive. Was there a supervisor? Or and Emily, Probably. you know, we were a family. I still think of her as family and a, and a little sister, but we've gone through so many things. I remember we've had the best time. I mean, going to morning show boot camp in Atlanta. Yeah. Oof. To, to anything. To, God, that's, that's a crazy. hangover. Yeah. That's a hangover. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you are family, who would be the weird uncle? <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer to Who that, and we can't the, say. Um, Who's the weird uncle in this family that comes to visit? And, yeah, takes you out for dipping dots and some old. You know. <laughs> Tommy? No, I'm, yeah. just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uncle Tommy. But how, how is it today? You know, is do you bring a lot of uh, wisdom to the to the show on Rock 105 because of your past? Um, I don't think so. They're yeah. such a well-oiled machine, and they do things so Wait a second. I listen to you every morning. You uh -huh. guys, you're part of the well-oiled machine. 
Do you, do you feel like yourself, like there's those three and you're over here? You no. do, don't no, you? No, I don't. You huh? shouldn't. You should. I don't Because you're like part that. of the whole weaving thing. I feel like it took a... It's, weaving it, thing, by the way, is a radio term. Weaving thing. Only there you go. A weaving <laughs> thing. It's a tech thing. I feel like it, it took some time to get used to the way they did things, because right. I've been with Jeff and Jared for yeah. so long, and, and the way and you guys Tommy's, did things. And Tommy's tyrannical <laughs> rants. Mm -hmm. yeah. and Tommy, I'm tired of this <laughs> I'm sick and tired of <laughs> me. Yeah. That was much <laughs> Look at that photo. Look at that. That oh. photo right there is in the National Radio Hall of Fame in Chicago. Wow. Yep. Yep. Tommy, you, yeah. did everybody, your hair was yeah. super short. Oh, yeah. This, this was uh, during, th and again, you guys look great, too, for radio people. What's interesting about that is that it, I didn't realize it was the same Emily. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize oh. it was the same Emily. Well, the there's show. another Emily floating around radio in San Diego over, over at uh, the Wattawa Park. Yeah, DSA. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, but I, didn't, I just didn't put yeah. it two and two together. Yeah. It was the same Emily. She's yeah, like on, me. she's on Beatles and she's on Wings now. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> wow. What? Beatles oh, I see. and Wings. Yeah. Wow, it sounds so like So you say she's Linda McCartney? Because I don't know if that's a compliment or uh -huh, not. Yeah. Um, she's Paul. Um, so, so my question for you would be, hmm? what show do you like better? Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> The number one rated Jeff and Jerry show or the number one rated Broadway, yeah. They're both so different. That's such crap. Here we what go. What show do you like better? <laughs> no, I can't answer that because they're both you so different. Won't answer. And I love right now, in the present, the show I'm on right now. Yes. But I learned so much and got my start Eddie from Papani, the other show. Eddie Papani. Eddie the, the Elbow best. Papani. Eddie's the best. Eddie Bag of Donuts Papani. Sky, Eddie, Sky, and Thor, and Emily. I mean, there's a. That's the reason why they're number one. Those, and Emily, that four. Don't don't you think Thor looks like a Thor? He really does. I mean, if you had <laughs> to cast a Thor, I mean, if I came in saying I'm Thor, you'd go, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like a Thor to me. Yeah, he, I yeah, want to call him Thor. Yeah. He's Thorish. I have a, uh, so there was a story that happened on the air a couple weeks ago that I totally got involved in. Oh, no. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Do you want to talk about it? Emily, Emily you like, would you like to tell her or would you like me to tell it? I think you should okay, tell Okay, so her. every day, so I hear this ever, since, <laughs> ever since the COVID happened, yeah. um, and you know, I retired from talk radio. Like, I like, retired. Yeah. And then a couple years ago, God, you know, God rest his soul, George Chamberlain got sick. Mm. And, I had, and they asked me to come help out in the mornings again. Yeah. Um, I started working at home during the COVID. I could do my business hits from yeah. the kitchen table. And I have a half hour between hits. So long story short, I get in the car and I drive down to Bird Rock Coffee Roasters <laughs> oh, in Del Mar. And I listen and I heard this great story involving Emily <laughs> and a refrigerator and Eddie Papani and a little bit of yelling and a little bit of defending. Uh huh. Whoa. And I and I and I have I had a very clear picture. A story of, about. Uh, I haven't heard a story about the refrigerator since the Chicago Bears had the guy. Oh, yeah. Thank you, William. All right. There we go. So excited, Emily Griffiths. Got to do that ass, huh? Yes. Do. People don't know that about you. I'm a you. huge fan of you. You have no idea. <laughs> but I didn't take your side on this deal. What? I didn't I take your know. side on this deal. Oh, this is the refrigerator? Yes, I didn't take your side on that deal. What happened? I, I didn't. I would it. normally take your side every time. In fact, I think you were talking about some guy giving you the eye at a car at a, at a stop sign the other day. Stop line. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I totally took your side. As a father of two daughters, I took your side 100% of the time. Was it the Thank stink you. eye or the weird COVID, I got a mask and I'm going to be... The eye it. that I was been being given? Yeah. yeah. It was the creepy, like, it was yeah. what's going on yeah. eye. And I, it's sort of like, who would do that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who would do that? So tell me about the refrigerator. So here's the, so I'll, I'll let you tell the story. And okay. then, I'll, then, I'll, then I'm going to say my, how it came out. As a listener. I think this is even better. You, I'll tell you how, as a listener, how it came out, and you tell great. me exactly what happened. Yes, okay. so we were sitting in the studio, in the main studio, and uh, our international phone screener, Dario, oh, yeah. came in and said to Eddie on the air, I have something to tell you. I was a witness to something. Uh-oh. And Dario was in the other studio where I sit half the time. I'm on the air in the main studio, and then I do some production work right. in commercial breaks right. in the other studio. So right. I was in the production room when Dario saw this crime. <laughs> and Alleged crime. There Alleged it is. Crime. Yeah, uh -oh. So we have a fridge in my little studio that everybody shares. It's a little mini fridge. Sure. And it's from like 1980. Two. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was my old fridge from yeah. KSDO. <laughs> it's so old. <laughs> and all of a sudden, lately, it started making uh, a buzzing noise, and it would happen on and on and on. You know, right. so loud. And I'm sitting in there Wait, trying what? to do what? How work. do you spell that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it. That, yeah. that noise. I got it. And so I figured out the way to make it stop <laughs> is to walk over to it and just give it a... Bam. 
with, my, with my foot or my fist. We understand. And it stops. And that's the way awesome. my dad used to fix things, too. The TV, the radio, me. I mean, you just hit them, and they would start working. Thank you. Yeah. It solves and a lot do, of problems. You, and you do it at home, too, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do it at home. Of course I do. And so Dario saw that. Went in, told Eddie in the show that I've been doing that, and Eddie was not no, happy. No, wait a second, though. Wow. Because it's, it's his fridge. Okay, wow, that's a little piece of it. <laughs> Because yeah. it's his fridge. You're kicking another that. man's fridge. That's exactly yeah, what kicking I was doing. Another, You don't do that in Texas. Way, and, that's, yeah, that, <laughs> and that's his country song. That's right. <laughs> kicking another man's fridge. So right. what happened next? Yeah. What happened next? So well, they were, he, uh, Eddie dressed her down. It yeah. was like, you did what? You kidding yeah. my... Because it's the, it is it's what she said. It's the rule of you know. There's some man rules, right? And never mm -hmm. enter the, rule, the pool by the stair. Never enter the pool by, by the stairs, stairs if you're right. a man. Oh. Never shake a man's hand sitting down. And never, never have a man off the stage with your hand. With your hand. Just never weird. kick a man's friend. Never kick. A, I didn't know the kick a man's. It's like the top four. Right. Number, yeah. We teach every four, intern though. in this place that thing: how to yeah. kick a, how to make a perfect <laughs> martini, a perfect fillet. Never enter the stairs, and never kick a man's. Never friend. kick a friend. So, so you got what the perfect. Happens. Yeah. So Eddie just Eddie yeah. kind of like you don't hear Eddie be emotional ever. No. Eddie Eddie <laughs> sort of dressed you down a little bit. He he banned me from the fridge. I was banned from the fridge. You are and like, he was not happy. Until when? Until. Uh oh. You purchased another fridge. I didn't purchase another fridge. No, but that no. was the rule until you had. We got, oh, until another fridge was the, purchased. So, oh, I so see. at the time, so Thor, who was on the air with us a couple weeks ago, yeah. uh, went on Amazon. And I'm driving. I got my coffee, and now I'm hauling butt back because i got to make my hit at 720. <laughs> That's right. So literally, i got this much minutes. time. I, dry, I order my, it's like, and Kogo knows that I do this. Yeah. So um, Thor came up with this thing, this Black & Decker fridge on Amazon. And I'm thinking, and Emily's looking at the $80 model from, you know, a Vizio fridge. So this is all yeah. on the radio. This yeah. is all on the radio, it's and they're doing this thing. Yeah, that's all you need. So I got home, and I thought to myself, I got I, my girl Emily, because I, because I'm a big fan. I, I got to help her, but then I got to, I got to stay in the good graces of the chief. Right. <laughs> so I sent them a fridge, and the gift card says for uh, Eddie, Sky, and Thor only. Only. Ooh. But I bought you a fridge. <laughs> that was for the, that was a, so the, That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> fridge. So, so did you get it? Did it come? It arrived yesterday. Awesome. Yeah. Set it up. Have you plugged it in? I Is put it awesome? my stuff right in there. Oh, that girl. Girl. <laughs> yeah, you fridge you kicker. That fridge. <laughs> and that one starts making noise. I'm gonna kick it too. Oh, bet. Hey, you I feel like I'm a part of the show. I do. I feel like, I feel yeah. like I'm by, by default. Like, I, yeah, that's my stuff. In there. You know what's kind of cool? Just like you said, Sully. We're all from San Diego, yeah. but I think. Emily's parents are from San Diego, aren't yeah. they? Like multi generational well, Diegans? Uh, we all went to Portland High School. Even Did your mom you and really? dad? Yeah, yeah. Wow. My mom, no, just my mom. My dad was from Northern California. Oh, well, that doesn't count then. <laughs> She's only a half a generation. I have a question about uh, teachers at Point Loma High School. When the Jets <laughs> took off, did they shut up for a few minutes? And let like let a star, like a starlight bolt. Right, well, I, have to do that. I don't think <laughs> I don't think Emily can answer that because she was never there. Oh, that's true. Oh, you in elementary school they would freeze, and I was sitting in class, and they would freeze for a minute. In Were high you, school, while well, they jet the fuel drop on you, <laughs> exactly <laughs> on the playground. Yeah, it's dropped right. What? There. What? Is, we haven't done this. I think there's anything we should start doing. What? what is one inside thing that you can tell us about the Jeff and Jer showgram and the show? Anything that like any inside, inside like any because because people love pulling back the covers and finding out like yeah. like you know do you really are you really drinking a fresca <laughs> like Jer show? Jer likes animals we all know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean he does he really supports Tom, right <laughs> Tommy's really a yeller <laughs> yeah, that's Tommy love. would scream at me that's Tommy true. by the way is not a yeller he's the sweetest man he's <laughs> he's exactly the hearts him. rainbows and unicorns that oh, you've got to know that's yeah. right no seriously he really is the same guy oh yeah Tommy's amazing. Tommy is very, very persistent, though. Oh, that he is, is. That is maybe so a, a pull the curtain back. Tommy, when, yeah. you know, when he was asking me to do something. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Yeah. How, about <laughs> How about now? Are you there? Yeah. How about did now? You, are you there? Did you do it yet? He is. That's funny. That Which is, is Tommy. why he's so good at his that's job. Oh, yeah. But yeah. that's. Okay, so that's one for the Jeff and Jerry oh. show. Okay, now, <laughs> tell us about Rock 1053 and the show. Like Thor's a hugger. Or some not a hugger. I'm the hugger. I'm the hard. You're a hugger. I hug very hard. Really? Yeah, and they all say that I crush their bones when Ooh, I hug them. That's cool. Yeah, that's I like, like a any, hard hug. Like I anybody, any inside. You know? I want some inside stuff. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Back yeah. it down. <laughs> Emily, will you come <laughs> back with us some point? Because you're fantastic. Absolutely. I think I've. Uh, and she hugged me when she got here. Now I'm starting to realize what the pain in my rib. Emily Griffiths. <laughs> Crack. Rock 105 through the show. You know what? Shout out to Reed. Hi, Reed. Hi, Reed. Hi, Reed. I'll keep listening to you forever. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Coming up, another member of Tommy's past. <laughs> Emily.
Yeah. So I was watching TV over there at Clark's house, and I come across this on the air, San Diego, <laughs> with Rusty Nails and a couple other guys. I'm not sure of who they are. <laughs> That's little Tommy and Sully. Welcome back to On the Air SD. Thank you so much. I'll be with you in a minute, guys. I'm meeting a guy here. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, my God. He's making full use of every corner of the set. I love the new studio. Good to see you on the air. Little Tommy Hall of Famer. Rusty Nails, Emmy Award winner. Oh, and by the way, see what came in the mail. What is that? It is not the San Diego Music Award for Best wow. Live Performer, but it is the award for Best Live Performer. Let me see it. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, hold on, let me see where I can put this. Hang on just one second. Give me one second. Yeah, find a place on the shelf. I need to find a place on the shelf for this. We uh, have a lot of uh, San Diego collectibles. We well, is your Hall of Fame? Where's your Hall of Fame there? Uh, oh, Hall of Fame there. Okay, there's that one. Little right Tommy is in the Radio okay. Hall of Fame. All right, and I uh, got Rusty's, right here. Uh, Rusty's Emmy's right here, right? So let's oh, uh, Rusty's Emmy. Emmy Award winning Rusty Nail, by the way. Thank you very much. Let's put this here. Hey, my aunt. There you go. Perfect. All right. My, there you go. My, hey, uh, so look, it, I'm, I'm, Emily was fantastic, and I'm a Emily. huge fan of Emily. I listen to her every morning, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm happy that that, uh, that we as a show were able to donate uh, the refrigerator. And anytime <laughs> we want to go hold, swing something over their heads, we got it. Okay, um, Emily was my little sister, or she is my little sister, and, and I have your another sister? little sister here. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura Kane. <laughs> Didn't we? I, saw, I had a great time one night watching oh, hold on there. a oh, band yeah. called Cowboy Mouth okay. at the Belly Up. Okay. All right. I think you were there at the Belly Up. Really? Were you watching Cowboy Mouth at the Belly Up a couple no, years back? No, I was not. You were watching something at the Belly Up. I have a doppelganger out there. I oh, think. Is that there, yeah. That's yeah. That's, you know, it, this is great seeing you in person and the voice because okay. not only did I hear your voice when I was listening to you know the other show. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, now uh, I hear you uh, doing traffic. Yes. And You're still on the airwaves. All the time. I, I have like a couple of a, like mini jobs. So I have, okay. I do traffic on Kogo. Well, you've got a fantastic, well, yeah, you're, yeah. You know, you're our traffic person, but you're also a fantastic podcast. Too. Thank yes. you. Oh. I have Laura Kane After Dark that I do with my two best friends. Who are they? Linda Zirkus and Eric Grimmer. And I we want do to be it. on that show, by the way. Uh, oh, my God. We talk about stuff that. I know. And that's why I want to be on that show. Oh, my God. It's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then I'm on Star on the weekends. See? Star 94.1. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So a lot of little gigs. A lot of little gigs, you know. Trying to make it into one big game, but you, let's see. Have you ever worked at Dip and Dots? Let's see if <laughs> no. the. Uh, Wait a okay. second. Where did you? Where did you? What was the last thing you did right before you got in radio? Yeah. I was a receptionist at a at a company that had a bunch of uh, suites. Uh -huh. So it was called Centerside Executive Suites, and so I was one of the receptionists, and I had to answer phones. Okay. And then. And you went from there to radio. I went from there. Well, see, when I was in college, okay. there was a sign, and the sign said. For six hundred dollars scholarship, interview with Cliff Albert at this uh, number. Yeah. Uh, call the number and, um, and this it's from is three seventy. Shut up. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, like in the early nineties, yeah. and um, so I called the number, interviewed with Cliff, and I got the internship, the six hundred dollars scholarship, and it was from three a.m. to. 7 a.m. Yeah. Great hours. Writing news for KFMB, so, 60, and so, then they were right across the street, Jeff Yeah, we and were at B100 at the time, and we would always see uh, a young girl in the corner doing her work for the news station, sure. wearing glasses, <laughs> yeah. and we would always uh, need someone to say something on the air. And then one day, uh, we were pretending to wake up the mayor. Oh, I remember mayor that. Susan Golding <laughs> so I was going to say time. Susan Golding. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Susan yeah. Golding Mar at the time. Maureen O'Connor. And then... Um, <laughs> And then we said, hey, let's ask that girl in the corner. <laughs> and then she did it. It was funny. Yeah. And I think she's been there ever since. And I think well, that, so was, was Jeff that was and like Jared 30 years Tommy ago. Before? You was know what? The three of you? Yeah. I thought Tommy was the janitor for the longest <laughs> well, time. Because he Many of the people here at the Law 400 studio <laughs> he has like still sometimes. Long, mistaken. shaggy hair. Sure. And he would like pull the carts, you know. Oh, Tommy like, had that hair breaking right and left. He had uh, that feathered oh hair. Oh, my God. You know, it he, was had so that, funny. he had that Led Zeppelin t shirt mm, tucked in. I'm sure he must have a picture. But back then, the Jeff and Jared show did have the core of Jeff and Jer. You know, I was in that core. And then we would have various news people, like oh, from I Pat see. Gaffey, Brian Drummy, Marilyn Hyder. Everyone oh, yeah. did news for us. Vicki Taft 
there's a long line of people that did news, but then we would have helper boys. We had helper boy uh, Dave, who went on to uh, DSC. We had helper boy Gray. Not the same Dave. Yeah, yeah. Not the same Dave. Yeah. Dave Rickers? No. no yeah. Dave Brandon. That's the D. Oh, Dave. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, Bromo. it's not the D from DSC. He was on the show, Greg Sims, and then helper boy Randy Hogue, who stayed with us for almost 30 okay, years. Well, I, okay, I want to break this down, because uh, I was not a radio person. I'm still not a radio person, even though I've made a career what? in radio. No, I was an investment banking guy that listened to, I listened to you on the radio. I listened to DSC on the radio. In college, I listened to you, because you're all of you are so much older than me. Um, but I was just a, I was an investment banking guy yeah. that, and, and ended up on the radio. So, so it's, for me, it's really interesting to hear how the whole thing happened. Because Cliff Albert, who, by the way, was the most important newsman, is the most important newsman, this side of the Mississippi. The best guy ever. Le legendary yeah, yeah. program director. He plucked me out of obscurity, too. So it's interesting to see that. Yeah. So, and, and he was a great guy to teach us up. But, but from there, how did it happen? Okay. I mean, how, how did, this did, is what how happened. How did it go from being, I said something on the radio okay. to now I'm on the show? This is what happened. Cal Walker, legendary Cal Walker. Right. I love Cal Walker. Airborne okay. traffic Airborne, man. Air, yeah, he took two weeks off, and he did Jeff and Jer traffic. So we were like 1991. But he was really, he was in the sky back then. Too. Yes. He was in a, he was a So they're like, I was a brand new traffic reporter, and they said, will you please fill in for Cal while he's off? How do you do that? I was like, oh, no, not for Jeff and Jer. I yeah. can't, I right. can't. And yeah. so the whole week. They made fun of me. They right. would change my voice on sure. the voicing. They'd record me when I wasn't listening, you know. And I thought they hated me. I yeah. thought they totally hated me. And then I saw Jerry at a party. He's like, we want you on Stay from on. now on. Okay, yeah. this is freaking fantastic. I love my whole <laughs> work. It's serendipitous. Laura Kane's with us. She is radio royalty. Oh, my God. The story continues, though, because I want to I want to hear I want to hear when you realize that you go super popular. <laughs> on the air. Stand by. I have to know. Laura Kane in the house. Little Tommy, Rusty, I'm Sully. I'm here. I have questions. That's called hitting the post, by the way. Yeah, that, that was, was good. good. Postmaster that was. General. You know what? And I'm a talk radio guy. Yeah. That was good. And it only took us three days. So <laughs> that, that was really good. good. I right. nailed that crap. You did. And I, I just questions. did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I have questions for Laura Kane. Okay. Now, <laughs> the Jeff and Jerry show with you, you yes. were just as part of that show than Jeff and Jerry. And uh, we lasted almost 30 years. Yeah. That cool. was, you know, back then, 2017. Quitter. That was about 2017. <laughs> today, is two, today, it's 2020. Is it cool when people still come up to you? Oh my gosh, it's the best. Because you ever. are so recognizable. Because well, you were just you. one of those. No, you wasn't just your voice though. People, because that's the thing about like both of you guys. Uh, us, nobody knew who we were. But uh, for some reason, you had that persona that was not only just radio, but it was you were a, a recognizable figure. How did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But you know, I think people just really connected with the show so yeah. much, and they connected with me for various reasons we'll get into later. But um, I, they come up, and sometimes they even cry. Yeah. They'll say like, Still, "Oh I've my had, God, I just yeah. I love you." I've guys. had that. <laughs> <laughs> people cry when they go, "You're rusty nails." <laughs> It's our listeners, our listeners are family. They are the best. I'm like, yeah. you guys yeah. are our family. We miss you. We yeah. miss the show so much. I'm like, believe me, yeah. we, I miss it yeah. so much too. Now, so much. We lasted almost 30 years. Yeah. So many memories. So on many. and off the air. Yeah. What was, who was the biggest celebrity? Yeah. Yeah. Know, yeah. Biggest celebrity. Because we okay. had everybody. I know on. this one. Every, Tell me Russell Crowe, the one you paraded in front of DSC. Ahead. Tell the Tell the Russell Crowe. Shirtless. Story. No, Russell Crowe. I partied with Russell Crowe on the back. In he was doing his like. Uh, Russell Crowe Music. Tour. I yeah. forgot yeah. what his name was. It was called 30 Odd Feet of Grunts. That's <laughs> what is it? 30 Odd Feet of Grunts is the name of his band. I don't get that. Russell Crowe, it could be 20 Odd Feet of Grunts, but it's something Odd Feet of Grunts. <laughs> yeah, Inflation no. and everything. It is. <laughs> it could be 10 Feet of Grunts by now. Well, I went to a show mm -hmm. at um, the Hard Rock, or no, the House of Blues. Yeah. And. Cameron Crowe was there too. You know Cameron Crowe, yeah, the director? Yeah, of course, almost famous <laughs> and, and fast side Amazing. Jerusalem High. He loves San Diego. And so he, me, and Russell Crowe Hung all out. partied together in the backstage after his show. That's cool. And it was like Did they know so you? Because cool. you'd interviewed both of those guys at that point yes. on radio. Did yes. they know who you were at that point? Yes. 
I felt true. like such a big deal. But you are a big deal. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, Stop that is it. so inaccurate. You Stop. are such a big deal. No, it's, listen, because as a radio listener, everyone knew you and who you guys were, and you two, and, and Jeff and Jared, you know, a little bit. Well, a lot of I think the Most. format Jeff and Jer uh, allowed your your real life to come into the show. Oh, yeah. big time. Yeah. Did you ever I did do that? not allow that and still don't. No, I, <laughs> so I, mean, I did a little bit, but I... I mean, the Jeff and Jer show, I'll back us up. Yeah. The Jeff and Jer show, Graham, had the best listeners and the best. we married San Diego. Yeah, we, yeah. Were the, we, uh, no. we had a, a love affair with San Diego, and that's why... You know, you're, that's why you're in the National Hall Radio Hall of Fame. Oh, I thought you knew that's why I got Best Life Band. Oh, let's see that. Ago. I've never seen that. Really? And, um, the tr that's the crash. <laughs> I actually have two, Laura, because that <gasps> one has a misspelling, so I bring that yeah, one. Yeah, the other here. one says Laura Kane. Oh, <laughs> that's so <laughs> nice. How <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, I have a question for you. So do you have a favorite moment on the air, like of all time? Like the favorite, uh, like the favorite moment of ever? Mine was when somebody yelled out, Bob Filner is to blame, because I was in talk radio. <laughs> I see. But what was your favorite moment of all time? Gosh, there there are so many to pick from. Like if you had to open your eyes and say, okay, I think of one most memorable time yeah. with Jeff and Jerry. Was it the flag? Was it the, was it the fact when Flags Rusty, when Rusty the flag. Made, I hate it was the I hate uh, Jeff and Jerry t-shirt. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Were you Better responsible answer, for that? Better answer. It, was it the the bolt? Um, the various um, jingle balls that we did in yeah. front of like oh, thousands yes. of people. That did was I amazing. See, you know, I I've just Those remembered. I donated money at one of the Jingle Balls, and I got to see... Uh, uh, John Mayer? No, I got to see Seal? Nathanson. Matt Nathanson. Oh, okay. Like, up front. Who? Cool. Oh. And Sarah yeah. Morellis. Oh, yeah. yeah. At the music yeah. box. Actually, I was hanging out with Cameron Crowe and, Crow and Russell. I remember. I know. Oh, God, you guys put on I a great show there. I got to interview Sting. That was like a big... Now, now, I told these guys, now, remember when Sting came in, did he stink? Okay. Sting stink. <laughs> sting stink. Stink stink. He's a stinky guy. Yeah. Stink stink. But his real name is but misspelled. Stinky. His real name is stink. stink. <laughs> he just uh, put a G on there. Tell us Because nobody that. wanted to actually say it. Tell us about that. Wow. They said, Laura, you get to interview Sting, but it's only going to be you and Stink, so nobody else can ask any questions. And I was kind of brand new. It was at Q106. Uh, cool. And it was on a weekend, so it was kind of weird. And I Where was, was this at? At the studio, Q106. Okay, he came in. He came in on a weekend, on a Saturday, and... Um, and I, it was the worst interview ever. I was so no, nervous. I've, I have yet to listen to it. I've not listened to it. But yeah. afterward, he took a bunch of pictures with me and my sister who was there, uh -huh. and he put his arms around us. So his like armpit, oh. his armpit <laughs> was on my shoulder. Here. So I, I love that song. And I was like, <laughs> armpit <laughs> was on my shoulder <laughs> makes me stinky. So I was like, oh, okay, but. I like the aroma. It's fine because yeah. it's from Sting. Right. So but, Sting. but Tommy says yeah. the one thing: if anybody's ever interviewed Sting, is that they'll say that he has, you know. Yeah, little, Sting stinks. You think he knows? Yeah. Sting stinks. He now. does because he uses like crystals. Was that the, was crystals. That, was that oh, the no, that doesn't work. <laughs> I know. Oh, right? You have a rock under your arm. You're gonna smell like you a rock. Mozzarella because that doesn't ever <laughs> work. True. Speaking of celebrities, you have been to the Academy Awards. <gasps> you have been to the. That's Anytime. right. You two guys do that. How do you? Yeah. Do I want to go to one of those. No. How did? Tell us about. Can't your go. best memory from that? Yeah. Maybe uh, the Doogie Howser thing. Oh, oh what? my gosh. Okay, so what's his name? Uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris. Harris. Okay. Didn't he call you out on the thing? There it is yes. right there. He called he, me he out. Told, tell him, tell I remember story. watching this. Okay. So tell us the story. So oh. we are seat fillers. Yeah. I don't know how much we're supposed to say, but you whatever. Say it now. I can know because I already blew it. Okay, hold um, it. Stay right there. Okay. This, is, this is how you keep him in the driveway. Are you all right, a, all right. This is called a tease. Okay, this is good. This is called a talk radio tease. Well, Just Sully, you'd really be a seat filler. <laughs> you would fill that seat up. Maybe that's why they don't want you in there to take up all their Dude, room. you're the fat one on the show now. What are you uh, talking about? Because I'm closest to the camera. Grandma. It has nothing to do with it. Okay. All right, on the air. So this one? Sully, this Tommy one? Rest in here. <laughs> that's that other one. Right this, is, this is how they keep you in the seats. <laughs> That, uh, I'm no longer, did I mention that I'm no longer the owner of Just a Participation Company? I got it. What? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you didn't see this came in the mail? What is that? Because it was under uh, Russ's Emmy Award. Yeah, Shotgun Tom's hat covers Miami. Nice! Very good. Very good. I, I think we should 
set this here for, forever now? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. So I want to talk about the Oscars because one of the funnest things uh, about being in San Diego is listening to you two guys when you would go to the Oscars. I was mm -hmm. asked myself, a couple times? Like, like five? five? No, and no. Emmys. Well, he went well, 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 and I did. Uh, for over 10 years. <laughs> so, real quickly, before we get to the story, how do you get in there? How did that happen? My uh, cousin John was one of the producers. And so we... Uh, That's it. So and we he's also the producer of the Radio Hall thing. I can't believe it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, we, we got to do the Academy Awards and we saw... Everybody. Everyone. Everybody. 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 But do they, do they ignore you or do they act like you're well, part of, they think you're part of the business, right? Like, hey, no, how are no, you? no. Oh, boy. No. You are not allowed to talk to them unless talked to. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have a big, giant lanyard around your neck. It says audience neck. filler. <laughs> filler. Oh, yeah, yeah. For real. Yeah. But when the cameras go on, you turn it, you put it in your back so the camera doesn't pick That's it up. That's funny. So when I, they sat me down really quick during a commercial break and I was on the aisle. I put my thing yeah. behind me and then... Neil Patrick Harris is behind me. They open up the show, and he's like walking down the aisle, and he said, "Hey, are you? In, what's your name?" Yeah. I'm like, oh, in front of Laura? hundreds of millions of yes. people. There were so many things I wanted to say. Hi, Mom, Jeff, and Jeremy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't. I'm like, I just want Laura. And he said, uh, he goes, "Well, are you a seat filler?" And we're not. We weren't supposed to say we were seat fillers for whatever right. reason. But I said, said, "I am." I said, "I am." Oh, great! I am. They're gonna escort you out. I know. And yeah. so he goes, "Well, hi, Laura." And I, and then he went on to a different one, and then he went on the stage. And so, I became yeah. a GIF, or is it GIF? GIF or GIF? Either way. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I became a GIF. But really? Yeah. Immediately after that, every oh, single yeah. television program nationwide, every local television station wanted, wanted to have her. you on the air. Every radio yeah. station in the country yeah. wanted Laura on. The oh, really? girl in the red dress. Really? Yes. Wow. It was so great. Reminds me, Kramer did that in a Seinfeld episode. I think he was a seat filler. So really? So, um, <laughs> so when you're there, those things, those guys. Does anybody? You're not supposed to talk, speak until spoken to. Do people come talk to you? Are people nice? We yes, talk. people are very nice. Oh. Yes, when pe when they do, like for example, there's one year when Ellen was giving out pizza. Do you remember yeah, that? I, remember yes. I got, I got a piece pizza. of pizza. Kevin Spacey what? handed me a piece of pizza. Really? Yeah. Did they ever come up like you know? Brad Pitt and say, hey, isn't this, and Brad isn't this Pitt suck? Offered, Brad Pitt offered me gum, and then when I left, he gave me a, a pat on, on the back. back. Really? Yeah. But he's but wiping yeah. his gum on your back. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, or those, hey, can, uh, you can use a piece I, of gum. I, yeah. I, I do want to say oh, this. Yeah, hey. <laughs> you smell like sting. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to say this about Laura, because Laura's had a great career, one of the greatest careers in in radio, right. being on the Jeff and Jerry show for almost 30 years. That's unheard of. Wow. And she was the first lady of the Jeff and Jerry show. Program. She was one of the that first ladies five in radio. Years old. Five, yeah, yeah, she was only. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you this. I don't think I'd be here today if it wasn't for Laura. Why Laura Kane, I believe. <laughs> Laura Kane, I believe, saved my life. Oh, and, no uh, kidding. And uh, my life, um, I, I model my life today because of Laura Kane wow. and how she lives. That's and I just want to say thank you. Well, well Tommy is a huge reason why I'm sitting right here. Look at you two. Because he was there in my deepest, darkest time of need. And and when I got out of, because I was in rehab for a while, 13 years sober now. Good for you. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, he was there for me when I got out. And he's like, you know what, you can live with me. So I lived with Tommy for six months. We wow. were roommates. <laughs> it was cool. awesome. You was a roommate, like roommate, like living together, like, like sharing the kids. Gave me with his, kids. Yeah, with, with our, our kids. kids. I gave yeah. her, yeah. I gave her the master bedroom. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I slept on the couch. Yeah. Look at you. Isn't that summer. nice? That is nice. It's like the so end sweet. of most of our marriages. You were sitting <laughs> on the couch. Yeah. But it was cool because we had yeah. a trampoline out front. And, um, wow. And the kids and Hold Laura. on, let me think about this. This sounds like college now. This doesn't sound like marriage. This sounds I like know. Back you're going to have the master bedroom. No, and you have the skate ramp, too, remember? Oh, yeah, the skate wow. ramp. Oh, my gosh. Are really and, uh, funny. But it was but really great. But we are here for each other, for for sure. I want to drive people to your podcast. Because, oh, because thank I you. Because I have trolled the podcast a number of times. Thank I think you. I should be a guest on the podcast. I think, I think I should be the I Laura on your podcast. Mm -hmm. Where would I go? Yeah. No, I'm talking about like you're Jeff and Jared, like you, the, you're the, you were the first oh, only female. I, oh. I could be the only male. Oh, oh well, we do. We did on Kogo, oh, remember? We have remember, a male. We did a thing called man, I know, but but for the most the part. Man straight cave, male. The man show. Yeah. Yes. The straight male. We had a thing called man talk on Kogo. Yeah. When, when I would first got. I remember that. We, and I would invite like all my buddies and one woman each week. Yeah. To come in. Gotta because I, it. and the premise yeah. was men and women can't be friends. That's it. Because, you know, there's. They always want to. Mm -hmm. And we I'm were, selling yeah. we friends. We and then all of a sudden, we're we no longer never, friends. We there wasn't enough beer yet. I know. I'm just saying. And by the, the way, way I'm talking about where can people hear it? Yeah. 
podcast. iHeartRadio.com. Sure. Sure. You can get the app. It's free. We're on Apple Podcasts too. It's called Laura Kane After Dark. We talk about all sorts of no, crazy things well, and we you do. cuss and we do because yeah, you can do that on podcasts. Yeah, and, 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 and I should have said straight mail because you do have a, you have some very uh, you have some very interesting character. That's what I'm. Who I would love. I lie on okay. the wall and there's somebody going. I have. I, I have so much to say about this. So Linda is a makeup artist to the famous. Yes. So she has a bunch of cool stories Stories, about that. Eric is my gay, hilarious best friend. Right. And so together we do a podcast and we talk about everything. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. Will you come back and hang with us again? I would love to. And by the way, I am celebrating my 200th day of sobriety today. Just not. For real? Yeah, but not in a row. Uh, (laughs) That's... (laughs) That's a total for my life. That's one of the best Rusty Dale's ah, life. You love that joke. I've stolen that joke a long time ago. Ladies and gentlemen. Tyler, play us out. Tyler. Laura thank Kane. you. Laura Kane. Unbelievable. Thank you. And thanks to Tyler for being our stunt musician so Hyrie can come in next day. <laughs> All right, Laura. Thank you so much. Rusty Dale. Little Tommy. Sully on the air. Laura Kane, Emily Griffin. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. All right, stand by. Uh-huh.